So welcome and good day. I just wanted to show a few things that are new with AutoCAD 2015, especially when it comes down to mText. First thing you'll notice, notice that I can see through my mText editor. So I can actually see exactly what I'm gonna get before I create it. Now, if you're not necessarily that happy with it, go into your settings, editor settings, and you can actually show the background. So again, it's just in the editor settings and show that background. And this is a dynamic preview, as you can see, as I move my cursor, notice that I can still see through the background. So continuing on here, let's put a little bit of text here. And another nice thing about the new editor is let's take some text here and let's uh, bold it, underline it, change its color. And notice the new embedded match properties. So you can take that and match text within the mText editor. So not just across the uh, one mText object to another, but actually within the mText editor, go in there and change that. I'm going to add a couple uh, notes here. So I'm going to so I want this to be one and notice how it's automatically built a numbered list here and if I didn't want that I could just click the lightning bolt and notice I can remove it I can stop it I can start from a previous list and now when I hit enter notice it's gonna to go to the next next list here or next next spot here now this obviously needs to be superscript so in the past you could use the model stack magic um, whereas now there's actually buttons for superscript and subscript. So you don't need to worry about, you know, was it tilde or was it the caret or what was it? You can just go simply find it and change the superscript or subscript. Now with that, the auto stacking has also been changed so that when it does auto stack, you know, it's still a lightning bolt again, and I can actually change the different types on the fly. I can unstack, and I can actually go into my stacking properties. So even later, when I come back to this, you know, it's the lightning bolt is still there. So it's a lot easier than trying to find the button or right clicking. It's just it's just right there. Okay, so let's uh, let's put a tab in here. Let's say um, so. What I'm gonna do is gonna click this. I'm gonna tab it. And I can see I'm not that happy with where it's tabbing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a tab stop. And notice that we actually have tooltips now um, to kind of guide you through what you need to do. So there's actually tooltips um, that appear, and very similar to everything else. Whoops similar to everything else is a lot more or a lot easier to go out and, and modify so now if I click the paragraph options here notice the paragraph I got all my tab settings in here as well so I can quickly um, access that stuff too probably my favorite new feature though is I'm gonna turn on my caps locks and I'm gonna create an mtex option down here so my caps locks are on right now so how common is it to work with caps locks because you want all your notes to be capitalized but you come in here to create a note so of course you hit the shift and you get something like this now notice as soon as i hit the spacebar it formats it and turns off my caps locks which is awesome we need to share this with uh, bill gates and microsoft and get that into into word um, because like i said how often you have your caps locks on, you go in and create a note, get halfway through and realize that your note was all, all messed up. So great new feature when it comes to, to mText. So those are just a, a couple of things new with mText in 2015.